What's up everyone, Dr. Tony Crone here, back for Wellness Wednesday, episode number 23. Uh, so I just wanna congratulate or thank everyone who's donated so far for the food drive that we're putting on this whole month for the well. I dropped off a load yesterday and we were at 194 pounds, which is incredible. There's still stuff out there and we still have two more weeks. I wanna get over that 200 mark for this next load that we take back. So if you still haven't dropped anything off, swing on by drop something off and we'll take it over there at the end of the month. Thank you guys so much for donating and those who are con uh, considering or are going to donate still, thank you. Okay, so we are talking about plantar fasciitis today or the other uh, name, technical name is plantar fasciosis. What that just means is that the plantar fascia on the bottom of the foot is inflamed or irritated, okay? So where this actually occurs was right, showing in my power socks today, is right in front of the heel right here. So common presentation, wake up in the morning, first couple steps that you take, it really hurts. Because those tissues overnight, they shorten and they aren't ready for that length after taking that first step down where all the tissues lengthen on the bottom of the foot, okay? So repetitive strain, tightness in the calf, uh, poor arch support with those intrinsic muscles, all can lead to this repetitive strain in that plantar fascia. So we need to direct treatments around at getting regular muscle length and good blood flow in there to flush out all the inflammation so we can get the tissues healing faster so you can walk without pain, run without pain. Okay, so everything that we do in here absolutely helps you out. So adjusting all uh, the stuck joints in the feet and ankle to make sure those are all moving so the muscles can relax. Uh, any soft tissue work, okay? So the plantar fascia, it goes from the bottom of the foot and inserts into that point in the heel where I talked about where you get that pain, but we also have connection all the way around the heel in the Achilles tendon up into the calf muscle, okay? So we're kind of balancing the seesaw here. We gotta affect both ends um, and not just go after where the pain is because it could be up in the calf. So Faith, if you walk over here with my trigger point posters, if you see right here, tightness in the calf muscle can also reproduce that heel pain. Okay, so you can step on back. Uh, so we can't just attack that pain where the pain is. Yeah, we're gonna direct the, the increased blood flow treatments there like dry needling, laser, uh, soft tissue work, things like that. But we're also gonna give you really good stretches for the calf so we can balance that out, as well as good uh, arch support muscles and ever, other things that we're gonna uh, address when you come in and see us. So one thing I'm gonna leave you with is a really good stretch for the calf muscle that you may feel if you have it. So just stay in there, fit. All you're gonna do is stride out in front of the wall, feel that good, keep that uh, knee straight, that good stretch in the back, and then we're also gonna stretch this front one too as we lean forward into it. Okay, so you're gonna get that good calf stretch, that good lengthening of the tissue, keeping it moving the entire time, okay? so. If you have plantar fasciitis, absolutely we can help and we wanna help you because they get better when diagnosed correctly, okay? So if you or anyone you know who has it, send them in our way and we'd love to help. Have a great rest of your Wednesday and we will see you back next week.